Well, 5 a.m. now on our Friday morning. Thanks for being with us here on Up With Krem. I'm Jen York. We are tracking breaking news here off the top of the show this morning. At least one person is hurt after a car slammed into a home on Spokane South Hill. This is near 16th and Spokane, and that is where we find Dana Marie McNichol, who tells us more about what happened. Hi, Dana Marie. Hi, Jen. Well, the scene is just wrapping up this morning as we have the tow truck that's pulling the car off uh, out of the scene. It came in around uh, 3 30 this morning, and I actually do have the owners of the residence right now, Sarah and Maeve, to kind of explain what happened and what they uh, saw this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we were peacefully sleeping, and all of a sudden there was a loud boom, and um, uh, we looked out and the police were here and a car was in our basement window. Can you describe the scene that you saw when they were trying to uh, extract the driver? Oh, uh, then there was, uh, it was, the extraction was done by the fire department. And um, it was actually nice for us. Maeve just retired from the fire department. So, so it was a very friendly crew that were uh, excited yeah, to so help us. It was a, big, a reunion of sorts. <laughs> yeah. And so um, after they arrived, they, uh, uh, you know, we were trying to stay out of the scene, you know, smartly. Um, but it looked like they had to wrench the door out and then extract him on and onto a stretcher. Mm -hmm. so. And he was sent to uh, the hospital after by yeah. by the firefighters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do now that your egress window is pretty much destroyed? Well, Call the insurance company. company. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we'll have to get. Uh, the, I really feel bad though. It's right underneath is uh, where the Lego table is with all my grandkids' Legos, and it's just powdered glass. So it's going to be a total loss there. And I don't want to break the news to them that their oh, their no. Legos are out of commission forever. Yeah, we're, we're just hoping there's no structural damage. Yeah. It, it, I mean, they hit it right at the rim joist, so it could be, you know, maybe a little bit more expensive. So. Yeah. yeah. Were you able to speak with the driver? Oh, no. No? no. no. They're in pretty tough condition this morning. Well, uh, we, you know, it was nice because we had police and fire immediately there. And so, and that's their job is to really do that interaction. And um, so. Yeah. Well, thank you so much this morning for speaking with us, describing the scene. Uh, police did mention that they suspect alcohol was involved, yet uh, they're still going to confirm that. Right now, the patient said that they were uh, non-life-threatening injuries. Of course, no one in the home was injured, and the patient is sent to the hospital. But, of course, we're going to be sending uh, you here live coverage all morning long. We do have some other footage to show you. It's a pretty intense scene this morning here. Um, but for right now, I'm live on Wall and 16th in Spokane. I'll send it back to you. All right, Dana Marie, thank you. Those homeowners so positive this morning.